let's have a look real quick at what we're going to build to get our feet wet with hot wire. We're going to build an apple counter. So we'll have uh, the number of apples here. And when you click add, it's going to add to the apples. Uh, when you click remove, it's going to remove from the apples. And then we're going to have a little log underneath that that shows what action you performed. And we're going to do all this without writing any JavaScript or refreshing the page. All right, our little example app is going to have a single controller. So we're going to generate it here in the console. We're going to do bin rails g controller site. And we're going to have index, add, and remove. And then we'll open this up. So now we have index, add, and remove here. And we don't actually need the views for these two. So we're going to go ahead and delete them. So delete the add and delete the remove. And we're gonna come back to those later. So over in the routes, we have get site index, uh, get site add, and get remove. Uh, so I wanna just do as uh, add, and I'm gonna name these routes as remove. That way I can use them more easily in the views. And finally, let's change the root to site index. And if we refresh, we see site index. Back over in site index view. Let's just remove all this stuff. And then we'll start adding our Apple counter. Maybe we want to put it in H1. Gonna make the font bold. And then here we're gonna have our buttons. So I'm going to do, I'm going to do flex. It's going to put these buttons side by side. Oh, but man, buttons. And then here we're going to have the log. So Let's see what we got here. Of course, we run into this issue with new Rails apps where. Rails adds flex to the application container for some reason out of the box, which makes the DOM behave unlike anything you've ever seen. So real quick, hop over to the app application layout and just remove flex. Now we have a regular behaving DOM. So let's add the buttons. So we want to do button to add and we're going to do add path. And we're gonna give it a class, uh, I don't know, let's do P2 background blue, maybe 500. Let's see what this looks like real quick. Uh, maybe we want the text white. And rounded large here, why not? All right, nice button there. We'll add the remove button. So copying over the add, we're gonna have remove and then Remove path. All right, and let's give a little bit of space here just to make it look a little bit nicer. And here too, why not? And the final thing we don't want to forget is the count. Zero apples. All right, now we want to hook all this up. So if we hop back over to the site controller, we want to store this count in the session so we can keep adding to it and removing from it. So let's do, let's add that here. So private, then we're going to have def set count and then we're going to set the count to zero. And at the top, we're going to do a before action, set count, but we only want it to happen on the index because when you refresh this, it will set the count back to zero. All right, in index, we're gonna do count equals session count. And in the view, we're gonna use that value or that variable. So now we have zero apples, but if we set this to one, we'd have one apple or two, two apples. You get the idea. So I'm going to set it back to zero and let's implement add and remove. So for add, we're going to do count equals session count plus equals one. 
and then remove, it's going to be the opposite of that, be minus equal one. But before the UI will update, we'll need to make some turbo stream calls. So in the views, we're just going to create two new views that are add.turbostream.erb. And these are just regular ERB files uh, that respond to a turbo stream format. And then we're going to do remove turbostream.erb. So let's make our first turbo stream call. So we're going to do turbo stream dot update and when we want to update this is the ID of the element that we want to update so in our index view if you hop back over you can see that we have an ID of count and that's what we want to update so we're going to update the count and then we're going to update it with the pluralized version of Apple and one final thing we need to do is in the routes, we need to change this to post, the add and remove. So post and post, since these are buttons. So now if we refresh and we click add, we're adding an apple and we haven't hooked up remove yet. So let's copy over the add template because all we're gonna do is update the count. Copy this over, refresh, we click add, then we click remove and it's adding and removing apples. Now let's have it update this log. So in add, we're gonna do another turbo stream call, turbo stream dot append. We're gonna append it to the log item. Then we're gonna render a partial. We're gonna render a partial of count. And then we're gonna specify the operation because we're gonna use this partial for delete as well, or for remove as well. So we're gonna just say the op or operation is add. Copy this down to remove, and we'll change the op to remove. So now let's create our partial, and let's add a div here. And we're gonna do op is add. I'm going to say added, or then remove. And then maybe we want to make this red if it's removed and green if it's added. So we'll just do that here. This is just regular ERB. So OP is add. Do text green 500. Otherwise, we'll do text red 500. So we refresh again and click add. This is added or removed. And we can say an apple. Added an apple, removed an apple. And that's it. This is the basics of Hotwire and TurboStream. Of course, there's a lot more to get into, uh, but this is sort of the foundation of what we're going to be doing.